What is up my good people? The name is Pixel Lover and I'm back again with another episode of Amori. So would you look at that? We did it again. The unfortunate the unfortunate thing that I need to put up a warning for every time it happens, that thing. We did it again. And we're now back here in what seems to be I guess the real world is how I would put it. One of two old grandfather clocks. They stopped working a long time ago, but mom likes to keep them around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. Give me a minute while I look at everything around here. Hi, Sunny. This is enough for mommy. Remember to brush your teeth every day. Love you, XO, XO. Sure. Let me brush my teeth real quickly. Gotta do it every day. Let's go. Minty Fresh. Alright, I don't know if you guys remember from episode 3, but I managed to find something over there in that door. And I know I shared it, but I still... I didn't, I didn't even realize it at the time when I was recording it. I only noticed it through in editing. Alright, alright. This is what we came here. Let's play some blackjack. Let's go. I have no fucking clue on how to play blackjack. How much... You have a hundred dollars. <laughs> let's bet it. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. Hit me. Uh... Let's go! $200. That's what I like to see, baby. Bet I only have $30. Whatever. Is that <laughs> 30 Washingtons? I just realized. I might have to put up a silhouette of what I mean, but it looks like a Washington right over there. Alright, I guess there isn't really much for me to look around. Plus... It, the the noise is just awful. Yeah, he doesn't even want me to go still go to that room at all. Jesus Christ. Hello. Hello. Sonny. Are you there? Do you remember me? It's your old friend, Kel. So I um I noticed a for sale sign in front of your house and I um I heard from my mom that you were moving away soon. I was wondering if you wanted to hang out one more time before you go or whatever. For all time's sake, you know? Where's the yes button? Where's the yes button? Come on, Sonny. Let's go. Let's go hang out with our buddy Kel. Sonny? What would you like to do? Open the door! Of course! He's my friend! Yo, Kel! You're in color now! Not in blue and a lesser shade of blue. Oh, he actually came out! Well, what would you expect? Uh, oh, I mean, okay, I'm going to be honest with you, Sonny. I really didn't expect you to come out today, so I don't I don't really have a game plan here. You know, to be completely fair, that sounds like a kill, but also fuck you! Come on now, buddy. <laughs> hey, hey, I know. Let's go to ho hobbies? Hobbies? Hobbies, yes. Let's go to hobbies! What the fuck? I'm terrible at English. It's a hobby shop in the faraway plaza. You remember the way, right? We used to go there all the time when we were kids. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Alright, I got my boy Kel! Let's go! Encourage, raise Sunny's guard, okay. I don't have anything on me, right? Oh, I have that. I don't like that. Come on now, Sunny. Oh, he still has... That's a basketball. He even, he even has his pet rock! Hector! Alright, let me just quickly say that. I can't tag. Yeah, no, I can't tag anyone. A pinwheel? Also, what is, is this supposed to be like the pinwheel forest? You shouldn't walk in the street, Sonny. That's dangerous. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! <laughs> uh, it was a misclick. 
if for sale sign with a big red solid a big red sold sticker on it. Solid, Jesus Christ. Your house has been sold. In three days, you'll be moving somewhere else. I want to be honest with you. I never understood why there are shoes always on wires like that. If I remember correctly from what I heard, is that supposed to symbolize like someone died or whatnot? It's just like a memento or whatnot? I could be wrong. I could 100% be talking out of my ass, but who knows? Classy white mailbox. Wait, hold up, Sonny! I know it's been a while since you've been over at my place, but now might not be a good time. <laughs> Those basketball hoops seem a little dangerous out on the streets like this. Yeah, you see even more pinwheels. Who is this? If I'm gonna have to assume... What are you assume, Aubrey? No? An empty birdhouse filled with sticks and dust. Plastic flamingos decorate the yard. They seem to be in good spirit. Anyone there? No response. No response. A row of colorful trash cans. The black trash cans for trash. Blue is for recyclables. Green one is for nature stuff. The compost, I see. Alright. What about these guys? That's of a religious figure. You feel as if it's judging you. Hero? Nope, no response. I mean, it would make sense if all three of them lived together right next to each other, no? A big ol' stop sign. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume I have to just walk wherever there isn't street. Oh, never mind. Would you look at that? I don't even have a map. Far away park, the future belongs to the dreamers. A vending machine. Far away plaza, far away plaza. I don't know where. <gasps> oh my god! It's the playground! Wait. Banks? Browse? I forgot the other one. God damn it. Is this a hallucination or something? Barely? An artist is diligently sketching away. Oh, that's a cool drawing of the park you have there. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. hi there. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'm just practicing. Uh, th that's what you call practicing? But it looks so real. I bet you can even sell that for money. Don't you think so, Sonny? See? Even Sonny agrees with me. Heck, I'd buy that from you right now. Hey, Sonny, can you lend me 20 bucks? Haha, <laughs> uh, thanks. Uh, that's so nice of you, but it's not for sale. It's for my portfolio. I'm trying to get into art school next year. Ah, oh, darn. That's too bad. It would have looked great on my bedroom wall. You really think so? My name is Mincy. What's yours? I'm Kel, and this is Sunny. Hi, Kel and Sunny. It's nice to it's nice to meet both of you. It's nice to meet you too, Mincy. Ah, uh, huh? What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. You're the first person to say something positive about my drawings. Sometimes when I'm feeling down, it makes me question myself, and it gets hard to move my pencil. No way! I don't believe that at all! I really think your drawing is great! I wouldn't be able to do that in a million years! Don't be so hard on yourself, Mincy! Me and Sunny believe in you! <laughs> yeah, you're right! I just gotta shake off those bad feelings. Uh, I'll try to buckle down and finish this now. That's the spirit. See you around, Mincy. You got this. I mean, Hell does have a point, you know. Always put your best foot forward. Even if you don't believe yourself, you believe in yourself, you should always believe in yourself. Always do. Always put your best foot forward. I've been kind of stressful lately, but people watching out here helps me put things into perspective. I might make it a habit to come back to this park more often. I guess sometimes all it takes to relax is to stop and smell the roses. Hello, youngins. I don't know if you've been watching where you're stepping, but there's quite a bit of trash around town. If you happen to find any, can you bring it to me so I can dispose of it properly? Come on, youngins. Let's help the world one step at a time. A boy, old lady, if you see my goddamn fuck- If you see, like, the side of my street, you will be in for like a fucking 
fiesta. Like, holy shit. I'm on my way to the church, but it's a ritual of mine to take a quick stroll before delivering my sermons. I've had horrible stage fright ever since I was a child, but a scenic walk always seems to catch my calm my nerves. That's nice, that's nice. I can respect that. That's a lot of trash here. More trash. Uh, uh, uh. Drink apple juice! Have you ever heard the phrase, an apple a day keeps the doctor away? The same concept applies to apple juice. Apple juice supports hydration. It contains beneficial plant compounds and may support heart, heart health. It may also help protect your brain as you age. There are no downsides as far as I'm concerned. Actually, really the biggest downside is how much sugar you usually, you usually see in apple juice. Don't get me wrong, I had a craving for apple juice just recently, but... And like I got, I got a a snapple, a, sna a snapple apple juice, and oh my god, did it actually feel authentic? It felt like I was draining the juice away from a goddamn red apple, but it, it's still filled with sugar. That's the thing about almost all apple juice. When I was younger, my family used to go to this park a lot. I remember there being a lake with a statue in the middle, but I can't find it anywhere. Oh, ho, ho, ho. hello. <coughs> <laughs> uh, today is such a beautiful day, don't you think? I may not have any money, but at least sunlight is free. At least he's looking on the brighter side of things. Hopefully he has something planned out for winter. That's what I'm concerned. Oh, what do we have over here, little cat? A jungle gem smells like rusty metal. Hold it! <sighs> Oh, hey! What's up? What are you doing here, Kel? You're from around this part of town? Oh, whoa! I didn't expect to see you here, Jay. Sonny, this is Jay. He's the captain of the football team at my high school. I didn't know you played basketball, too. Eh. Uh, I'm just here to kill time. It's more of a hobby than anything. Trying out for the basketball team this year, right, Kel? Maybe you could teach me some of your tricks. Yeah, definitely. It sounds like fun. But maybe another time. My childhood friend Sunny here is leaving town in the next few days, so we're hanging out all day today. I'll definitely catch up with you later, though. Sure, we can set up something next week. Same time, same place? Yep, sounds good. See you then. Interesting, interesting. The stench of this man is indescribable! What you making that face for, bub? Is there something on my face? There's trash. I don't know if there's trash on your base, but there might be. We are recyclists, followers of the holy bin. As all have littered, almost except that they are trash. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Actually, I much prefer uh, the words by Dr. Nitrous Brio. Editor, if you could put it in the clip. So, I have invented recycling. <laughs> Remember the embryo patented phrase, reuse, recycle, revenge! So this seems to be basically the playground, right? Just, we don't know everyone? Question mark? You got trash. You got mail. Uh, any other trash that I need to pick up over here? Nope, what if we go this way? What if we go this way? I can't go that way. Nope. I can only go on the lines from the looks of it. Alright. Yep. Here's four dollars for your help. That's it? Four dollars? For for all the trash that I collected? Come on now. <laughs> oh well. I guess I guess I shouldn't really be, you know, pounding too hard over the trash. I mean after all, trash is something that like it isn't something that you should be rewarded for. You know, you shouldn't be rewarded for just picking up fucking garbage that shouldn't be there in the first place. Captain Spaceboy? What the hell? What is he doing up there? I just made a wish that I would meet my one true love today. Would you like to throw a coin into the fountain? The coin fell straight to the bottom. Big coins at the bottom. Well, I hope whatever wish I had it actually worked. Come on, Sunny. Let's go to hobbies first. 
Really? Everywhere I go, you're just gonna tell me that? Oh, what the hell? More trash. More trash. God damn it, people! Pick up your damn trash! Oh, come on, kill! There's literally trash over there! Oh my god, there is trash over there that needs to be picked up. Oh, oh, oh. Drink orange juice! Have you ever heard the phrase, orange is the happiest color? I actually have it. Never heard of that. No? Well, that's fine! Just know the same concept applies to orange juice. It has vitamin C, which is essential for a healthy immune system functions. It's also an antioxidant that may help, that may have health benefits by protecting your cells from f free radical damage. Uh, I don't know about that, buddy. Also, Other Mart sounds like Other World, but about orange juice, I'm gonna be real with you. The only orange juice that I ever really liked is this brand called Tampico. And the thing is, it's not even entirely orange juice, it's citrus. So like you have your orange, your tangerines, uh, lemon? Or mandarins? Mandarin, something like that? You get the idea. What the fuck are you doing this, Captain Space One? I don't know, I was just never a big fan of like Tropicana, Pulp without Pulp, same thing, it's the same difference to me, honestly. Holy shit, the volume. Well, here we are at Hobbies. It's probably been a while since you were here, but it hasn't really changed all that much. It's all the same old stuff. Captain Spaceboy games, sweetheart movies, a few pet rocks. Except now they're vintage. Actually, since we're here, I should probably buy a gift for Hero. He's in college right now, but he should be coming back sometime tomorrow. He's studying to be a doctor, so maybe I should buy him some medicine? So here's in college. No, that's a horrible idea. You should help pick out the gift, Sonny. Let's look around and see what there is. A cardboard cutout of Captain Space Boy. This place is kind of small, but it has a lot of old and rare collectibles. People even come all the way from the city to shop here. My favorite novel just got a comic adaptation, but the main character looks nothing how I imagine him. Yeah, that's the that's the problem. Uh, that's the problem with like um, cost one dollar to play. Sunny, let's get Heroes gift first. <laughs> we can play later. That's the thing about like movies is that whenever you like read a book and then like you see the movie you're just like this is nothing how I pictured it. Looking through these comics bring back so many memories. It's just like the old times. Huh Sunny? Here was never too interested in comics though. And colorful CDs. Maybe you can play them at the jukebox. These CDs look pretty cool but I think Hero would appreciate something more sentimental. Let's keep looking. How about some cards? Super, super Ultra Sprout Mole Eater Revenge of the Moles 3! Rated M for Mature, huh? That's too violent for Hero. He definitely won't appreciate something like this. I would say I Persona 5 isn't too violent. There is some violent there is some violence, but it's more It's more or less the themes, not the violence that give it the rated M. Funny story, I was actually, I actually went to a GameStop once and I asked him, I was like, Hey yo, do you guys have any copies of Persona, of Persona 5? Not even realizing that it was rated M for Mature, and I was like 15, 16 at the time, so I wouldn't, they wouldn't even let me buy it. A lot of these DVDs are catching dust. I'm sure we have most of these somewhere at home already. Probably also catching dust. Small figurines. It's always been- I've always been fond of these little guys. Hero will get mad at me for spending my lunch money on them though. Let's not remind him of that. What about this? This- Yes! This is perfect! Papa Chips chip off the old block cookbook. Wow, that's a mouthful. No kidding. Hero had a copy of this when we were kids, but our dog Hector destroyed it. Your dog Hector? He's going to be so happy when he sees this. But before that, we need to ask the most important question. The price. How much does it cost? $20? This is extortion. Shoot, I left my wallet at home. Uh, can you spot me, Sonny? I'll pay you back, I promise. Thanks, friend. I knew I could count on you. You took Hero's gift off the shelf. Alright, I'm gonna assume I'm supposed to pay for this. Hey, shopkeep, we like to buy this cookbook, please. Kill! How have you been, buddy? It's been a while since we've come around, hasn't it? Ah, 
That's Papa Chip's Chip of the Old Block cookbook. I see you have good taste. Yeah, my brother used to follow his recipes all the time. Oh, so Kellen... Kellen here are our brothers. His cookies are my favorite. It's rare that I see another fan of Papa Chip's work. That'll be $20, please. Thank you, kind sirs. Please enjoy. Alright, I got Hero's gift. Thanks a lot, Sunny. I bet Hero will love this. Alright, I'm gonna assume that's... That's it. Where to now, Kel? Where to now, my buddy? My, my buddy, my pal? So, where do you want to go now, Sunny? Guess there's really not much to do around the suburbs, huh? How about the faraway park? Yeah, the park! Ironically, he does actually have a point. There's not really much to do in the suburbs other than maybe eat or one thing. Everything has always been in the city. We passed by it on the way here. That sounds fun, doesn't it? I mean, I don't know if you would really call my area the suburbs, but like, it's borderline. It's, it's borderline the suburbs now. Yo, I'm Michael, a soon to be traveling musician. I've been playing guitar here at the Town Plaza for years now. I think I'm finally ready to move on. Will you help me reach my goal? Anything will help. Sure. Ten dollars. Hmm. Looks like I still have quite a bit to go before I can afford to leave town. Thank you! In return, I'll play an original song. Whoa! This is the guy from the train station! No shot. No, no wonder. Yeah, the guy from the train station. He was like, uh, "I'm not. I'm never gonna move. I'm just gonna keep standing here." And this guy's like, "I'm trying to leave the town, but you know, I still have a lot more to go." Damn. So wait, what's what's the what's the relationship between the world where the world where I play in? You know, the vast forest, the pinwheel forest, other world. What's what's the relationship of that and this? Which I assume again it's the real world. Because you definitely can't call the other ones real. Is White Space Sunny's room? What do we got over here? Welcome to Fix It, where you can buy stuff and fix it yourself. I don't have anything. Flowers! I could get flowers. Yo, kid! I see you staring at the Help Wanted poster. You interested in a quick job? Well, alright. If you ever want some extra cash, just let me know. Why? Well, I mean... Kel wouldn't let me, right? If I said yes, he wouldn't let me. Oh, you're taking this job, Sonny? In that case, I'll come back for you later. Work hard, okay? Shit, never mind. Kel immediately wanted me to go away. <laughs> Alright, kid. Take a good look at those shelves behind you, and you'll probably notice that everything's a big jumbled up mess. You'd think with a sign above the shelf, it'd be obvious where to, where to put things. But people just don't give a crap these days. I hate working retail. Anyway, the sign above the shelf shows what product should be on display. Your job is to move everything back to its rightful place. Got it? Counting on you, kid. Um, alright. What do you want to pick up? The wrench. No, I don't want to put the wrench here. Uh, god damn it. Wait a minute, what, what? Okay, I need a hammer there. Hammer, okay. This might take me a while, so... I'll be back! Yo, not gonna lie, this soundtrack once again proving to be an absolute banger. Snore, snore. Huh? Uh, what? You're finally done? A excellent work, kid. Here's thirty dollars. Don't spend it all in one place. Let's go. Hey, Sunny. How'd you do? While you're working, I decided to play some basketball at the park. Man, that was fun. Well, I'm ready to go when you are. All right, all right. We're both from around the area, but we just moved in together into a brand new house recently. It's the one with the yellow roof on the street near the church. We're gonna be having a housewarming party two days from now. It'll be amazing if you could join. Thanks. Uh, I'll see. Hey, stranger. How's your day been? My day's been going great. Wanna know why? Because today is the day that I'm finally going to be fixing the leak in my house. My problems began a couple of weeks ago. I found a really stubborn leak in the corner of my living room. 
How it got there? I don't know. It wasn't very noticeable at first, but the leak has been slowly getting worse and worse every day. To tell you the truth, I've already gotten used to hearing the sound of dripping water and the feeling of a damp carpet. Dude, no! 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 What is wrong with you? What is actually wrong with you? Why would you let a leak continue to come down on your carpet? You do realize that that will damn that will so fucking destroy your carpet there. Holy shit. My brother in Christ. You should have done this long ago. Oh, would you look at that? A nice floral section. Oh, never mind. Just hallucinating. All right, Sonny. Where's where are your meds? I can't be playing a game uh, with you hallucinating and whatnot. I mean, sh sure, I'll get some flowers. Four flowers seems fine enough. Actually, maybe it could have been three. Now that I'm thinking about it, because one for Audrey, Aubrey, one for Kel, and one for Hero. There's so many types of tamales on the market now. I don't need any of that fancy stuff. Canned tamales are good enough for me. Canned? What are you saying? Canned tamales? Are you joking me? That, uh, as someone who has had fresh tamales before, that is fucking atrocious. How you believe the canned stuff? Canned doesn't even make any sense. That doesn't even make any sense. Why? Just why? I get, I get it. I get that, you know, making it fresh and whatnot. It's not, it's not the, it's not the most easiest task in the world. I get it. But can't. That, that that's just, that's just offensive to me. A cardboard cutout of the shop owner seems a bit much. Welcome. We hope our candy makes you smile. I told you, courtesy. It's smiley! Smiley! Y y yes, ma'am. Hi, it's me, the happy and cheery Miss Candace. Uh, well, Candace Dick. I'm going to assume. I'm going to assume that this person is somewhat similar to Sweetheart. Because, you know, sweets and whatnot. Anyways, the market here doesn't have much for me to look at. I mean, it is the market. I should have known better. Uh, nothing over here on this area, so... Yes, it's only fair for me to keep on going leftwards. Hello, who are you? No, not you. The guy's on the right. Wait, don't go! Please! Sorry, dude. I can't help you. You're on your own. Uh-oh. There's some commotion going on over there. Let's check it out. Uh, this ain't none of my business. If you got beef with her, then talk to, your, then talk to her yourself, you creep. I'm begging you. Just ask her to give it back. She won't listen to me. Wait. Is that... That's Basil. Leave him alone, you bully. Huh? Who's there? Alright, bucko. Oh, it's just Kel. Why don't you mind your own business? Well, why don't you go bother someone else, Kim? Psh! Well, aren't you acting all high and mighty? You don't make the rules around here. What's going on over there? Hello? Who are y'all? Uh... Aubrey? Oh, hey Aubrey. That nerd Kel just showed up and thinks he can boss me around. Let's show him what's what. Kel, what do you want? Stop messing with Basil! How could you? We all used to be friends, don't you remember? Tell her, Sonny. Sonny's here. Hi. Wow. It really is you. It's been a while. 
but you haven't changed a bit. How long has it been since you left your house? Three years? Maybe four? Must have been nice to live in your own little bubble. Watch it, Aubrey! You don't know what he's been through. Hmm. Whatever. Aubrey! Please! Listen to me! Jesus. Hey, stop that! Leave it alone, Kel. This isn't your problem. What the heck is wrong with you, Aubrey? Ah, uh, Sonny! Come on, we've got to do something! <laughs> Are you guys really picking a fight? Sure, why not? The two of you against me? How's that sound? Come at me! I'll take on the both of you. Oh! Can we run? Run! Come on! <laughs> I don't... I don't want to fight Aubrey though! Guard! Oh... Uh, can we just guard? What will that do? Oh my god, that's... this is not gonna do anything. Fuck! Why? No! Kill! Gah! What the? Is that a knife? Oops. I forgot Sonny has a knife. Oh shoot! Aubrey! Are you okay? Y you're hurt! I I'm fine. No you're not! You're bleeding! Come on! We gotta get you out of here! Ah, uh, I'll get you back for this. Why? What? Hello? Context? Whoa, that was about to get really messy. Good thing you had your knife there or we would have... Wait a sec! Give me that! You shouldn't be carrying things around like this, Sonny! That's dangerous! Well, I'm glad I'm I'm glad you finally you finally realized that. <laughs> After what? How many episodes are we in? No, seriously, how many? I haven't edited them all yet. <sighs> Aubrey's really changed since you last saw her. Her and her new friends have been nothing but trouble. Poor Basil. Let's check if he's okay. Basil, I'm sorry. Hey Basil, how are you doing? Ah, uh, I'm fine. Thank you, Kel. I don't know if you noticed, but Sunny is here too. Say hi, Sunny. Hello. Oh, hey, Sunny. It's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> Woohoo! What a happy reunion! So, do you want to hang out with us today? Uh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'd love to, but I, I should probably head home. Huh? Really? Are you sure? My, um, my grandma hasn't been feeling too well lately. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Let us at least walk you home. It's been so long since we've all hung out. Uh, oh, alright then. Uh, thank you. Yeah, don't worry, Basil. You you got, you got me and, uh, yeah, my, my, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Don't worry, Basil. You got me, you got Kel. Basil, which way is your house again? Is this the right way? I'm gonna assume it is. What the? Uh, is it down here? Cause I don't know. Your gun, that's not the way to Basil's house. Remember Sunny, it's on the street. That's diagonal from us from the crosswalk. Okay, diagonal from us from the crosswalk. So, this way. Actually, no, I came from that way. This way? A pinwheel flows, flows in the air, wind, whatever. Yes, this way. It's this way. Oh, this is Basil's house. It actually looks quite nice. There, there's Basil's house. It's the one with the green roof. Anyway. All right, all right. 
Last acquired mailbox. All right, Basil. Um, thanks for walking me home. No problemo! If you ever need anything from me, just ask, okay? We'll catch you later, Basil. Uh, oh, okay. Um, uh, Basil, you're gonna be good? Wait, please don't go! Ah, uh, I mean, uh, I'm so sorry. I actually have a favor to ask. Anything, Basil. What do you need? Well, you see, something important was taken from me. When we used to be friends, do you remember how I used to take pictures of everyone? Of course I remember. The sword has meant everything to you. Uh, right. Well, Aubrey, she took my photo album and... Aubrey stole your photo album? Well, she... she won't give it back. What a scumbag! Don't you worry about a thing, Basil! Me and Sunny got you covered! Uh, okay. Th thank you. By the way, about what you said before... We're still friends. I want you to know that, okay? Okay. Well, I'll see you later. Come on, Sonny! There's no time to lose! We got a photo album to find! Let's check Far Away Park for clues! Well, I think I'm gonna leave it off for now. I'm so glad I'm at, le I'm at least able to see one friend, Kel. I'm so glad that at least one friend after all this time has stuck with me, Sonny, after all this time. God bless you, Kel. And God bless anyone else who is a Kel out there. You're doing the world a good favor. Anyways, my name is Pixel Love. If you liked the video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys have a good, great day, great afternoon, great night, whatever time it is for you. And take care, everybody.